Tachyons are often hinted at in deep physics talks. If you're here to finally understand what they are and why they matter, you're at the right place. You're about to explore an idea so strange, it could flip your understanding of speed, space, and time all at once. This video answers the big questions. Can anything actually move faster than light? What makes tachyons so mysterious? Could they really let us break the rules of time? Or are they just mathematical ghosts? Imagine a race between a particle and a beam of light. Ready, set, go! In this thought experiment, the beam of light zips away at 186,000 miles per second, the fastest speed in the universe. But what if something could beat that beam of light? What if a tiny particle always won the cosmic race? Today we're talking about tachyons, the mysterious theoretical particles that, in theory, outrun light itself. Get ready for a faster-than-light adventure. Tachyons, pronounced tachyons, are hypothetical particles. That means scientists came up with the idea of them, but no one has ever found one for real. What makes tachyons so special is that they're always faster than light. If a tachyon existed, it could never slow down to light speed or below. In fact, it would be stuck going above the speed of light forever. That's kind of the opposite of how we understand everything else in the universe. You can't make something reach light speed, and tachyons can't go slower than that. The idea of tachyons began in 1967, when physicist Gerald Feinberg proposed their existence in a scientific paper. Feinberg was exploring what would happen if certain solutions to Einstein's special theory of relativity were extended mathematically. According to relativity, particles with mass cannot reach or exceed the speed of light. But Feinberg flipped the question around. What if a particle already traveled faster than light from the beginning? Using the equations of special relativity, he introduced the concept of a particle with imaginary mass, meaning its mass involves the square root of a negative number. This wasn't imaginary as in fake, but a real mathematical idea. These particles, he suggested, could always move faster than light and never slow down below that speed. Feinberg named them tachyons, from the Greek word tachy, meaning fast. His work was entirely theoretical, but it captured the attention of scientists and science fiction writers alike. Over the years, tachyons have appeared in quantum field theory models, often as signs of instability. In string theory, for example, the presence of tachyons in early models suggested that the vacuum state was not stable. Later versions of the theory fixed this through a process called tachyon condensation. Although tachyons have never been observed, they have remained an active topic in theoretical physics discussions, often as tools to explore the limits of known laws. While still unproven, the idea of tachyons continues to stimulate thinking about faster-than-light motion, time travel, and the boundaries of physical reality. Tachyons and photons are both theoretical or well-established concepts in physics, but they are fundamentally different in how they behave according to theory. Photons are real, observable particles of light, they are massless, and always travel at the speed of light in a vacuum, about 299,792 kilometers per second. They are responsible for carrying the electromagnetic force, and we encounter them every day as visible light, radio waves, microwaves, and more. Tachyons, on the other hand, are hypothetical particles that, if they exist, would always move faster than light. Unlike photons, which cannot go any faster, tachyons would never be able to slow down to or below the speed of light. In some theoretical models, tachyons are considered massless, similar to photons, but with one crucial difference. They have imaginary mass, meaning their mass is defined using the square root of a negative number. This allows them to exist mathematically only in the faster-than-light domain. Whether tachyons and photons could interact is a complicated question. Since tachyons have never been observed, there is no experimental evidence to show they can emit or absorb photons. In theoretical physics, it's possible to imagine interactions, but the math often breaks down or leads to contradictions with known laws of causality and relativity. If tachyons could emit or absorb photons, it would mean they can influence or be influenced by electromagnetic forces, which could open doors to new physics. 
but it also risks breaking our understanding of time and information flow. Tachyons are fascinating because they challenge one of the most fundamental rules of the universe, causality. Causality means that causes happen before effects, like pushing a domino before it falls. But if tachyons, which theoretically travel faster than light, existed and could carry information, they might allow messages to be received before they were sent. This breaks the logical flow of time and creates what physicists call a causality violation. Einstein's theory of relativity already shows that time is not absolute. Two observers moving at different speeds may disagree on when events happen. For things moving at the speed of light or slower, this isn't a problem. They just see things in a different order, but still within the rules of cause and effect. However, if a particle like a tachyon moves faster than light, things get weird. In some reference frames, the effect might be seen before the cause. Here's a thought experiment. Imagine two people, Alice and Bob. Alice is on Earth, and Bob is on a spaceship, moving away from Earth. Alice sends a tachyon message to Bob. Because the message travels faster than light, Bob receives it quickly. But due to their relative motion, Bob sees the message arrive before Alice even sends it. Now if Bob replies using a tachyon, Alice might get the reply before she ever sent the first message. This creates a time loop, where cause and effect swap places. If this were possible, it could lead to paradoxes like warning someone of an event before it happens, essentially breaking the universe's logic. In the 1970s, when physicists began developing string theory to unify quantum mechanics and gravity, they found something unexpected in the math tachyons. These faster-than-light particles weren't just rare exceptions. They showed up naturally in the theory's equations. At first, this was seen as a major problem. Tachyons weren't meant to be real particles. Their appearance suggested that the vacuum state, or the ground state of the universe according to string theory, was unstable. Imagine building a house on wobbly ground. The presence of tachyons in the theory was like discovering your house was shaking. It meant the foundation wasn't quite right. In physics terms, this instability meant that the energy configuration of the universe could suddenly collapse into something different, making the theory unreliable. Physicists knew they had to fix this, and that's where the idea of tachyon condensation came in. Tachyon condensation is a process that suggests these problematic tachyons are not signs of real particles, but indicators that the theory wants to shift to a more stable state. When the tachyon condenses, it means the unstable state transforms into a new, more stable configuration, just like how steam condenses into water. In modern string theory, especially in supersymmetric versions like superstring theory, tachyons can be removed or explained in a way that no longer causes instability. So while tachyons once signaled a major flaw, they also helped physicists refine string theory into a more stable, consistent model of the universe. Detecting a tachyon would be an extraordinary discovery, but it's also extremely difficult because tachyons, if they exist, would behave unlike any other known particle. To find them, scientists would need very high-energy environments, places where unusual particles might appear for a brief moment. This is why particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, are often considered the best candidates for such a search. These machines smash particles together at nearly the speed of light, creating a burst of energy where exotic particles could momentarily form. If a tachyon were created in a particle accelerator, it wouldn't move slower than or at the speed of light like other particles. Instead, it would instantly zip away faster than light, making it extremely difficult to track. In theory, a tachyon might not even leave a visible trail in detectors designed for ordinary particles. Its signal might show up as a strange missing energy or as a delayed or unexpected reaction, something not predicted by standard models. Some physicists speculate that if tachyons interact with regular matter even slightly, they might create a detectable disruption or shift in patterns of energy and momentum. So far, no such signature has ever been observed. Experiments have seen no behavior that requires a tachyon to explain it. This could mean tachyons don't exist, or it could mean they're extremely hard to detect. They might not interact with normal matter at all, or only in ways we don't yet understand. 
Until scientists find that unique, unmistakable clue, tachyons remain a captivating mystery. Tachyons often spark the imagination, but they also come with a fair share of misconceptions. One of the most common is the belief that tachyons allow direct time travel, as if you could hop on one and zoom into the past or future. While tachyons are linked to the idea of moving faster than light, which could theoretically mess with the order of time events, they don't function like a time machine. You can't ride one into yesterday or send your body back to last Tuesday. The confusion comes from the way special relativity treats time when faster than light motion is involved. In some reference frames, a tachyon might appear to travel backward in time, but that doesn't mean it can be used to physically travel to the past. Another misconception is that tachyons are particles from the future. That's not quite accurate either. Tachyons aren't time-traveling messengers, rather, they are theoretical particles that always move faster than light. In some situations, they might seem to arrive before they're sent, depending on how different observers measure time and space. But this is a trick of perception in relativistic physics, not proof of actual backward time travel. Lastly, just because tachyons might be faster than light doesn't mean they can be used like a spaceship. You can't hop inside a tachyon and steer it through space. In fact, if tachyons exist, they can't slow down to light speed or below, so they couldn't even stop for you to climb aboard. They're not tools for travel. They're theoretical challenges to our understanding of physics. Another reason we haven't found them is simple. No experiment has ever detected a tachyon. Scientists have done all kinds of high-energy tests and observations of the universe, but there hasn't been even one hint that tachyons are real. Back in 2011, there was a moment of excitement when an experiment seemed to show that neutrinos, tiny particles, were moving slightly faster than light. People thought maybe we had found tachyon-like particles, but it turned out the whole thing was caused by a loose cable in the lab. Once the error was fixed, the measurements lined up with the speed of light, as usual. So, every time we think we've seen something going faster than light, it turns out to be a mistake or misunderstanding. Tachyons still haven't been proven to exist. They remain just a cool idea on paper, but they continue to fascinate scientists and dreamers because they tease the idea of faster-than-light travel or communication. Ever since we learned how massive space is, humans have imagined ways to travel or send messages instantly across the stars. In Einstein's theory, the speed of light is like a universal speed limit. Nothing with mass can go that fast because it would need infinite energy. It's a hard stop. But tachyons are imagined as particles that were never below that limit in the first place. It's like they're born ahead of the speed limit and can never come back down. This leads to some really strange physics. If tachyons had more energy, they'd actually slow down, and if they lost energy, they'd speed up. That's the opposite of how normal objects work. Imagine a car that slows down when you press the gas and speeds up when it runs out of fuel. That's how strange tachyons would behave. If humans could ever harness tachyons, the possibilities would be mind-blowing, but they would also require a complete revolution in physics and technology. One of the most discussed ideas is using tachyons for faster-than-light communication. Since tachyons are theorized to always move faster than light, they could, in theory, send messages across vast distances instantly. A tachyon communicator could allow real-time conversations between Earth and distant planets, or even galaxies, making space exploration and interstellar teamwork far more practical. Another idea is propulsion. Some dream of tachyons powering futuristic warp drives or engines that could move a spaceship beyond the limits of normal space and time. While we don't understand how that would work, since tachyons can't slow down to our speed, it's possible that manipulating their properties could let us bend space-time or create shortcuts, similar to the way warp drives are imagined in science fiction. Now imagine a tachyon computer. Regular computers rely on electrons moving through circuits. A tachyon computer might process information at unimaginable speeds, perhaps even accessing data from the future. It could solve problems before they're even entered or run simulations millions of times faster than today's supercomputers. Of course, all this is speculative. We've never observed a tachyon, and we don't know how to interact with one if they exist. 
but thinking about how we might one day use them helps push the boundaries of imagination and keeps scientists asking bold, exciting questions about the future of technology and our place in the universe. On the other hand, even if tachyons existed, nature might have built-in rules that stop them from being used to create paradoxes. Maybe they can't carry useful information, or maybe you can't choose when or how to send them. There could be hidden limits that protect the universe from time travel problems. Either way, discovering tachyons would be massive. It would make headlines. It would win Nobel Prizes. It would spark new experiments and debates about what's really possible. Imagine stepping into a futuristic machine designed to harness the unimaginable. A vehicle that allows you to ride a tachyon beam. The moment it powers on, the world around you stretches and bends. In an instant, you accelerate beyond the speed of light, leaving everything behind. The stars ahead seem to collapse into a single bright point, while the universe behind you expands like a time-lapse film in reverse. As you race faster than light, time begins to behave strangely. Events that haven't happened yet begin to unfold backward like watching a movie in reverse. You see a star explode and then quickly rewind into a calm, glowing sphere. You pass planets before they were formed, civilizations before they were born. The deeper you travel, the more disoriented time and space become. The concept of now no longer makes sense. Every direction seems like both the beginning and end of something. Distances shrink into mere moments. You cross the entire galaxy in the blink of an eye. Light itself can't catch up to you, so everything that relies on photons, vision, heat, even communication falls silent. It's like being inside a strange bubble where reality has no rules. But what happens when you stop? That's the mystery. Slowing down below light speed might not be possible for a tachyon, so stopping could mean vanishing entirely from normal space. Or maybe you'd snap back into existence somewhere, or some when else. One thing is certain, riding a tachyon isn't just travel, it's stepping outside the laws of the universe. So while real scientists haven't found tachyons, they've found a permanent home in sci-fi stories. They're like the ultimate what-if particle, a perfect mix of science and imagination. They help us stretch our minds and wonder what lies beyond the limits we know. In the end, tachyons are a reminder of how much we don't know. They challenge the speed limits of the universe. They make us think about the meaning of time, cause and effect, and whether faster than light travel could ever be real. Most scientists think tachyons probably don't exist, but they're still fun to think about. And who knows, maybe someday we'll discover something even stranger. If your brain is buzzing with questions or theories, we'd love to hear them. Drop them in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for joining us on this journey through tachyons. Please like and share the video and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.